Welcome to Soul Speech. Hello everyone, I'm Soul Man. Previously, we have studied how to construct sentences using NA and NNA templates to describe the status of nouns with adjectives. In this episode, we will learn the basic use of verbs to express action from the nouns. Let's begin with a few basic verbs. The first set of verbs are regarding motion. Go, stay, walk, and run. When you use a verb, you need to think about the tense, whether it's a root, present, or past or future. Unlike root of adjectives, root words of verbs are never used in actual conversation or in writing unless they are used in poetic expressions or titles in newspaper. Let's take a look at root words of go, stay, walk, and run. Go is 가다, 가다. Stay is 있다, 있다. Walk is 걷다, 걷다. Run is 달리다 or 뛰다. As you can see, all the root words of the verbs are ending with ta. If you want to use it as a present tense or to describe something going on right now, which means it's going to, I'm, I'm about to, it's happening, ing, then you would use nien and ta or nun ta instead of simple ta. So for that case, the sounding pattern would be Nienda nda nda. To describe past tense for verbs, we use pachim sangshiot and da. So its sounding pattern will be da da. Let's take a look at actual examples. Present tense, either we use nienda or or nda. When there's no pachim, we just use nienda. So for kada. 간다. For 있다, either we use the same 있다 or 있는다. 있다 can mean either stay or be there or simply exist. When you say 있는다, it means I'm staying here or I'm gonna stay here. For 걷다, which means walk, we have a present tense of 걷는다 because God has a 받침, we use a 는다 instead of just 니은다. 달리다 or 뛰다 both means run. So 달리다, just add the 니은, which becomes 달린다. Same is true for 뛰다. 뛰 has no 받침, so simply add 니은, it becomes 뛴다. 달린다 or 뛴다 means somebody is running. All right, before we introduce next group of verbs, let's review from type 1 to type 5 again. Type 1 was the most simple one. Left side is charm, right side is mom. For example, cute and ah creates ha. LR type. Type 2 is TB type, top and bottom. Charm is on top, mom is on bottom. So cute and o creates ho. Type 3 is LRB, left, right, and bottom. Left is charm, right is mom. And bottom is another charm, which is 받침. For example, 히읗, 아, 니은 creates 한. Type 4 was complete vertical. Top, middle, bottom. Top is a charm. Middle is a mom. Bottom is another charm, which is a 받침. For example, 이응, 우, 리을 creates character 울. Type 5 has a nickname we created, which is three-quarter type, because double vowels called chungmoom is occupying three-quarter space of a character, while the upper left corner, which is a, a quarter, is filled with a charm. As an example, kiok and chungmoom we create a character kui. Finally, we are introducing a new type 6, which is the last character type. It is a 
type 5 plus button bachim. Here is a type 5 character wall, and we are adding a bachim to it, creating type 6 character what? What? This one has three components top, left, three quarter type, middle, and bottom. Now we are ready to challenge the second set of motion. Stand up is Soda. Sit down is Anta. Here we have a double bachim niun jiut. In this niun jiut, jiut part is a silence, so it simply sounds as Anta. Lie down is Nupta. Fall down or trip over is Nomojita. Nomojita. Let's see how we can convert these root verbs into past tenses. In addition to sangshyo ta tail words, we can use atta, otta, or watta. Atta is used when preceding part, which is a root word without ta ending character, has bright sound. Do you remember a, ya, o, yo sounds are considered as bright sound? Otta or watta are used when preceding part has dark sound. O, yo, u, yu are considered as dark sound. Note that when preceding part is bright, we use at which is also bright. When preceding part is dark, we use ot or what which are also dark sound. This is a resemblance effect. Let's apply present tense niun da unda and past tense sangshio da utta. For soda, we have a sonda and sotta. Sonda, sotta. Standing up and stood up. For anta, we have a annunda and anjatta. Sitting down and sat down. Note that we are using at instead of at here in anjatta. That's because an is bright sound, which is a sound. Then the following uh, past tense is at instead of at. You will hear some people still say anjata, but the correct spelling is anjata. For nupta, we have numnunda and nuwata, lying down or lay down. Note that when we have a sangshot pachim followed by da, it generally sounds as a da, a da instead of a da. So both nu da and nu da are all acceptable pronunciation. For nomo jida, we have present tense nomo jinda and past tense nomo jotta. Nomo jinda, falling down. Nomo jotta, fell down. At nomo jotta, we have a jot, which is a short form of ji ot. So nomo ji otta became nomo jotta. Let's study other verbs from everyday action. Sleep, wake up, breathe. Chada, geda, sumshida. Matching present and past tenses for those are chanda, chatta. Sleeping, slept. Genda, getta. Waking up, woke up. Sumshinda, sumshiotta. Breathing, breathed. Okay, here is a second set of everyday actions. Eat, drink, play, and work. Mokda, mashida, dolda. 일하다. 일 of 일하다 is a uh, work as a noun, so 일하다 becomes a verb as doing work. Let's take a look at present and past tense for each of these verbs. 먹는다, 먹었다. Eating and ate. 마신다, 
마셨다. drinking and drank. 논다, 놀았다. playing and played. 일한다, 일했다. working, worked. Finally, we are ready to create some sentences using the verbs that we just learned. Do you remember any template that we used to create sentences using adjectives and nouns? Similar to that, we have an NV template with nouns and verbs. To connect noun and verb, we also need particles we learned from previous session, 은 or 는. Let's begin with subjective noun I. In Hangul, I is na. So, na nun, na nun. I eat, na nun mognunda. I ate, na nun mogotta. I drink, na nun mashinda. I drank, na nun mashatta. I play, na nun nonda. I played, na nun noratta. Present tense can be also used as ing form or I'm about to. So, 나는 먹는다 can be I'm going to eat. 나는 마신다 can mean I'm going to drink. 나는 논다 can mean I'm going to play. So, this is the usage for NV template, the template number three, with nouns and verbs. This describes actions for the noun. Let's try other examples with 은 instead of 는. We are still using NV template. We will use elder brother 형 in this example as a subjective noun. Since 형 ends with 받침 이응, we need to use 은 instead of 는. So brother eats, 형은 먹는다. Brother ate, 형은 먹었다. Brother drinks, 형은 마신다. Brother drank, 형은 마셨다. Brother plays, 형은 논다. Brother played, 형은 놀았다. All right, we have learned a lot of verbs today, so let's practice so that we don't forget them. We are going to try together with our trainer, Cat Lady. Hello, Cat Lady. So is Peachy. 안녕하세요. I will say short NV sentences in English. The audience should say the sentences in Hangul. After giving you a chance to speak it, Cat Lady will say the correct answer in Hangul. Let's begin. 시작합니다. In these examples, brother is an elder brother and a sister is an elder sister. Thus, 형 and 누나 instead of 동생. I'm going. Or I'm leaving. 나는 간다. I walked. 나는 걸었다. I ran. 나는 뛰었다. I stood up. 나는 섰다. Brother sat down. 형은 앉았다. I lay down. 나는 누웠다. Brother fell down. 형은 넘어졌다. I woke up. 나는 깼다. Sister is sleeping. 누나는 잔다. I played. 나는 놀았다. Sister worked. 누나는 일했다. Brother eats or brother is eating. 형은 먹는다. Congratulations! Good job! Now you can say simple sentences with verbs. All of the nouns are already covered in previous episodes 
So if any of the nouns here is new to you, please go back and review previous episodes. Also, don't forget to subscribe to this channel if you haven't done so. Until then, Dobayo. See you later.